If you are experiencing foundation issues, get a free estimate from Ox Foundations. This month's TV 47 Star Student of the Month. Nicole Balding is our Star Student of the Month this morning. Good morning to you. Good morning. Good to have you with us uh, on this Friday. Want to tell us a little bit more about yourself? Okay, so I'm a senior at Sylacauga High School. I'm involved in a lot of extracurricular activities, and a few of them I get the privilege to um, serve in leadership positions. So I'm the president of Mealpha Theta, I'm the vice president at HOSA, and I'm the secretary of National Honor Society. Also, um, I'm in student council and Spanish club. Um, I'm also a part of the girls' varsity basketball team. I do their stats and bookkeeping. I'm also, a, a few months ago, I got CPR instructor certified, so I'm certified to teach CPR classes. And we're actually going to have a class at the high school on November the 19th at 6 o'clock. So if there's anybody who wants to learn CPR, they can come out to the high school. Other than that, you're not doing anything, are you? <laughs> <Not today. laughs> a senior at Sylacauga High School, 4.16 GPA, top five of her class, ACT score of 26. Way to go, girl. Thank you. Wow. And uh, what's it like being a senior at Sylacauga High? It's busy. It's exciting. A lot of opportunities. And I'm just really excited for my future. So. But I'm sad to leave all the yeah, amazing yeah. people there. I've built so many bonds and it's going to be hard to leave. Who's your family? So um, my mom is Renetta Balding and my dad's Jack Balding. Okay. You have brothers and sisters? No, sir. I'm an only child. Uh, have any pets? I do. I have a dog. I have a lab. His name is Rocky. Is that your buddy? Yes, sir. He's okay. my buddy. Uh, uh, we're uh, in our Star Student of the Month segment, and a senior over at Sylacauga High School, Jacoya Balding, is our star student. And uh, being a senior at Sylacauga High School, uh, with all this stuff going on, how do you keep up such high grades and high standards? Um, well, my mom's always taught me, you know, education comes first, so I always make sure that I have time to do all my work, and then my extracurricular you know, activities, I plan them around studying and things like that. Okay. And some of the classes you're taking your senior year? So right now I have AP English, AP Biology, and Patient Care Technician. Okay. And uh, who's some of the uh, your friends at school? Um, Bentley Walker, Julian Curtis, um, Kelly Rhodes, Faith Richardson. You excited about the football game tonight? I am. Yeah. I'm excited. Go, are you going to go? Probably some of go with my grandparents. Yeah, I bet. Yes, I bet. Uh, you're on the student council, yes, a senior representative, uh, yes, and, and just so many, many other accolades uh, that has been bestowed on, on her. And uh, you're a part of the basketball team. You're not a basketball player, yes, but you do their stats and stuff. Yes, How did you get started doing that? Well, my uncle's the coach, and my mom coached for like 13 years, and so I was always the manager. And I can't play sports because I have a heart disease, so... My uncle was like, well, why don't you do stats or bookkeeping or something so I could still be a part of a sport without actually participating, like playing. Yeah. So. You were all A's. Yes, sir. From the ninth through the 11th grade. Yes, sir. And you continue that through your senior year. Yes, sir. Uh, you've got to be awfully proud of the hard yes, work. Uh, and and who, who's helped you along uh, to get to where you are now? My mom. She's very um, creative, ambitious, and resilient. She doesn't let anything get her down, and so she's taught me her ways, and she inspires me and always tells me to keep going, don't let anything get me down. Mm -hmm. So my mom. Who's some of the educators at school that have made a difference in your life? Um, truly all of my mm -hmm. teachers and administrators have made an amazing, like a great impact on me. But if I had to pick out a few, I would say Miss McGrady, she's always willing to listen and always supporting me in my career endeavors. Um, I'd have to say Miss Allen, she taught me chemistry. She's also the National Honor Society um, sponsor. She's always there for me. Um, really, all of my teachers, honestly. Yeah, yeah. Uh, where does the name Faith come in as part of your name? Well, my mom and dad and my aunt and my uncle were in a car accident. My mom and my aunt survived, and my grandmother was saying, like, faith, by faith is how I got here. And so my grandmother gave me that name. Now, that is a great story. Yes, sir. A great story. You go to church anywhere? You're involved in church? Yes, sir. I attend Russian Springs Baptist Church. Okay. Javoya right. Balding is our star student of the month, and she's really involved in her community uh, and as part of the freelancers. What, what do the freelancers do? So we're a community service organization. Um, we participate in a bunch of community service. Like this month, we're doing something for the care house. Sometimes we do things for the animal shelter. 
we really just do a lot for the community. Okay, and uh, you're just months away from graduation. Yes, talk sir. About, talk about post-graduation. So right now, as of right now, I'm planning to attend Auburn University and major in chemical engineering with a concentration in pre-medicine. And after that, I plan to go to medical school to become a cardiologist. Wow. <laughs> Couldn't play basketball because of a heart condition. Yes, sir. And you want to become a cardiologist. Yes, what sir. a story. Yes, sir. Wow. Well, we wish you all the success. Thank you. Balding is our star student of the month. Uh, GPA of 4.16, top five in the class, ACT score of 26, and she will be graduating on May 21st of 2020. Yes, sir. And uh, she has uh, such a... Uh, a list of uh, accomplishments, and we're so proud of her and glad that you're here with us this morning and recognizing you as our star student mind. Let's have a little fun before we go, okay? Okay. All right, favorite food? <clears throat> pasta. Pasta. Yes, sir. Who makes your pasta? Um, either my mom or my grandmother. Okay. Can you make it? Um, I don't know. <laughs> Hey, you, you just love If theirs, I try, right? probably, yeah, but yeah. they do all the cooking, so okay. I just let them okay. do it. I got you. Favorite restaurant? Ooh, Taco Mama. I okay. love it. All right. Uh, you like to read? I do. What do you read? Usually it's my Bible or some devotional or something mm -hmm. like that or anything for school or anything like that. How is the Bible a strength to you? Um, it's amazing. I mean, it keeps me going. It always lets me know that God's with me and, you know, He's directing my steps. And it's always, make, you know, with my story, it's just, you know, mm -hmm. having faith mm -hmm. and just keeps me going. Fantastic. Uh, Favorite vacation spot? Ooh. Ooh. I went to New York this summer. I got to stay in New York. Oh, I bet that was cool. It was great. It? My family lives there, so I got to stay with them and did you get a, fun. Did you get to go into downtown New York? Um, We went to Niagara Falls. Yeah. So. That's beautiful. It was yeah. beautiful. Okay. Jacoya Balding is our star student of the month. She's a senior at uh, Sylacauga High School. <clears throat> How would you like to be remembered? Uh, um, <clears throat> Probably as a leader, someone who... You know, doesn't let anything get them down and, you know, is always willing to work hard and, you know, someone the teachers use as an example. All right. She's right here in this camera, ladies and gentlemen. Her name is Jacoya Balding. She is a senior at Sylacauga High School and she is our star student of the month. Tune in to Daybreak Weekdays at 6.30 a.m. for your star student of the month.